Hi guys, Stephanie here, and um, we are going to do some altered playing cards. Now, I've been seeing some people doing altered playing cards lately, and it's really inspired me because I have these cards that I kind of hate, not going to lie. So, these duck cards, like, they're so ugly. <laughs> they're so yellow and ugly, I hate them. But they're nice cards like they're nice feeling and nice sides they're very old and vintage so they definitely are very cool but so yeah i'm gonna you know take some of these out and and maybe we'll get some of these a mess with but i also have this other deck um it's harley davidson i don't really like the back of it but i do like the front of some of these and I think they would look really cool um, sticking out, you know, peeking out behind what what I plan to do. Uh, but these are more of a vintage feel. And right now I'm going for kind of like a colorful thing because of some journals I have coming up. So uh, I probably won't do anything with these, but I may in another video just because I do want to make a vintage version of these altered playing cards. So we'll see. Um, so what I'm going to want to do is... So I'm going to take these non, non face card ones and I think that I'm going to double layer these so that they're, I mean, cause okay, they're playing cards. So they're, they're already not too flimsy, right? But I feel like if I backed these onto one another, that it may just give it that extra bit of sturdiness so yeah I think I'm gonna do that so um do I care no let's just do a glue stick prick stick I don't know what people call them making sure to get extra on the edges because we all know how the edges are, but I'm not too concerned with it because of what I'm going to be doing with it. It's going to be very secure. You're not going to have to worry about that. So we line this up and I give it a good squeeze. All right. And so now we have a card that's double fast or double sided. I don't know why I was going to say faceted, but double sided. So I don't have any more of that ugly yellow peeking through. I am going to get a baby wipe because, of course, I did not get one before I started because I'm silly. I actually have a migraine today, but I am I wanted to power through. I got this idea and I just, oh, I wanted to do it. So suffering for the cause. I <laughs> move my glasses out of the way before I get glue all over them. All right. So we'll put our little pile over here now. So, um, let me get a paper towel too. So yeah. So now we have glued our little thing here. And so now what I'm going to want to do is Mod Podge. <sighs> okay. So, we are going to Mod Podge. And you can do whichever side you want. I want to use this side with the 9 on it. Okay, I'm going to get this glue off my fingers. <laughs> Alright, now I have a couple of napkins here that I'm going to use. And so we're just going to kind of pick up a, a part of this. Okay, I got it. So, I just put it down. 
Now, look at how cute. I love it. So I'm going to take another little bit of Mod Podge and we're going to go over this so that it has the two coats of Mod Podge with a napkin sandwich in between. And you can see the card behind it. It's so cute. I just love it. So that's one. Let's go ahead and do another one real quick so that that one can dry a little bit. And then we'll just mass dry at the end so I can, not the end, after we're done with this part. Um, but I'm going to make sure I get what I want. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Alright, I'm, I'm excited. So, I want to use this ace because it's small. Um, Alright. So, let's glue this together. And I mean, obviously, you could just do this part in bulk at the beginning. Just glue together a bunch of your cards so you've got like four or five to work with. And then you don't have to worry about doing it um, over and over again besides that initial part, right? But that would be the thing to do. Okay. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could always take your um, Distress Ink at this point and give it a little bit of a, a Distress Ink, right? Um, but just remember that you're going to have to give it a little bit of time to adhere, um, you know, to, to be on there. Because once you put Mod Podge on there, it's probably going to wipe it away. So you have to give it a few minutes to set, right? Just let that sit for a second. And what else? So we have a nine and let's do another ace. I really like the aces and I'm going to do a, a ten of clubs in the back. We'll glue this together. Sorry if this is boring you. But I was just sitting in bed and my head hurt, so I was just sitting there and messing around on Facebook, you know. And I came across in the feed, you know, my friend Kelly Snow was sitting there doing these really cute altered playing cards. And she, I mean, oh my god, the thing that she did with them, they are so flipping cute. It's not even funny. Go look it up, Junk Journal Junkies ETC Group. The link is down there in the description box. It's the best corner of the internet. Um, I flip and love that group so much. It's my favorite place to be on Facebook. And anyway, so that's all the ads for the video. Sorry about that. Um, but she's adorable and she makes such wonderful things in these. Like she made these slidey flip out altered playing card things like a raggedy, like, you know, all this fabric is so gorgeous. Like it, the sewing, everything, it's great. So go go look that up but anyway i was sitting there i was like what else can we do with playing cards because i don't know about you guys but like i got kids and so they like to take things out and then leave it and then we end up with you know a deck of 50 cards or 48 cards and we don't have like a, a whole deck um so anyway like we i i have long story short i have a ton of cards so this is just something that i wanted to be able to do with them and I'm so excited about it. I love it. So I gave that a tiny bit of time. And I'm not going to try to smoosh too much. Right? Alright. Alright. 
Alright. And I don't care about the wrinkles. I like the wrinkles. It gives it texture and character. So that is totally fine with me. Man, I just think that's adorable. I love it. So let me cut this out really quick. So I can use the napkin again. And then we're going to cover this. Give it that, that light coat. Right? Now be careful not to put um, too much, but also be careful not to put uh, not enough and then smush too hard because you can mess up your napkin. And, like, it's, as we all know, it's hard to come across some good napkins. So, um, if you are wondering, the napkin that I am using right now is from Jane Davenport. It comes with a bunch of different kinds of napkins um, all for like mixed media and art journaling which is what I love doing um, but they're very cute I like them a lot so highly recommend I love Jane Davenport if you guys have watched any of my videos I've got like her watercolors and like I even have this is my favorite pen in the whole world <laughs> the incredible pen and it's filled with teal ink because I put teal ink in it because it's freaking amazing. Anyway, I said that I was done advertising and I apologize. <laughs> All right. So again, this is the last time we're just going to do three for this video. And I feel like it'll give you enough of a sense and maybe inspire you to take this in your own direction. Kelly's video inspired me to take altered playing cards into my own, um, I mean, I, God, you know, I'm sure somebody else has done this. Like, we all have seen <laughs> the millions of videos on YouTube. Like, I'm sure that somebody else has done this. But this is just my own personal take. Hmm. Kind of. Yeah, I wanted more of her. This little mermaid here is so cute. This is going right in my friend's journal that I'm making for her. I think she's gonna like it. Anyway, yeah. Ooh, got quiet there for a second. My bad. I don't even think about it. I just, like, get into what I'm doing, and I'm like, oh, okay. Quiet time. So, now I'm going to clean up just a tiny bit and dry these off, and then I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So, these are dry now. <clears throat> so, we are going to go along the edges, and we are going to cut off all this excess, um napkin and obviously you can keep these put in scrap piles if they're big enough or just junk it I just usually just throw away and I don't keep all my scraps I know I know I should I've been told recently I should but I don't <laughs> I have enough crap in my room So yeah. Okie dokie. So now that we're done with that. Um, you just take a nail file and you just kind of see in the edges. And this gets rid of any hangy bits that you're 
scissors didn't do. But it also just um, gives it a nice edge um, that you'll be able to actually distress. Uh, so if I want to go through over, you know, around this with my black soot, um, normally on Mod Podge, it doesn't really hold ink very well. Um, you can do it. You can ink it and then let it sit and let it dry for like ever to make sure that it stays on there. And even then it's still going to come off a little bit when you, uh, because of the Mod Podge. And that's just how it is. You know, anything that's glossy or shiny like that, it, it tends to not hold things as well. But me doing this little bit of sanding on the edge is going to make it so that I can, um, do just a little bit of distressing if I choose to. That's not necessary, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so let me just go around all of these edges and then we'll be right back. So as you can see, um, it, um, I have this technique and I have always done it. If you look back at other videos, like I like to take bits that raise up and just peel them. Um, it leaves a cute little layer, but it also like, I can, when I go to distress this, it's going to leave a really cool look, a really grungy texture. Um. That I really really love when it happens so um, you'll see that at the end let me do these other two and then I'll be right back all right so at this point um, if you wanted to put some texture paste on here this is when I would do that um, <clears throat> I probably will do that when I do the vintage grungy ones but for these um, for what I have planned for them I don't want to do that um, I toyed with the idea. I really did. Um, but I, I don't think that that's what I want to do for these. So, um, I'm going to start with this one and I have some bits and bobs, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me very much. Um, I have some bits and bobs and we're just going to kind of put them on here. E willy nilly. So this um, says, get into your art flow. And I look through my stash and I've got this really adorable charm, this little paintbrush. <laughs> it's super cute. And we're going to put this on here because I think it's adorable and uh, yeah, makes me happy. So that's what we're going to do. i um, probably going to put a button on there as well. And uh, I have some other things. I've got some gold tool, gold glittery tool that looks amazing. So I'm going to use that. And I got this little bit of pink. Don't ask me where I got it from. I don't know. I think it was, it was out of my lace stash and I think it came off of a lace. I don't even know how to explain that. But it's kind of like cheesecloth ish it's just a mesh version honeycomb mesh which i like so yeah um i don't want to have too much of this tool so i'm just gonna kind of cut um random angles and stuff so it's not a uniform cut and that way it just looks better i think you know so yeah so let's start by and I'm just gonna use tacky glue um, where you are going to be using tacky glue I would highly recommend giving it a light sand it doesn't need a lot you're not pushing I wasn't pushing too hard on it or anything like that I just put my finger down and I went like this in this way it it takes just that top coat of that sheer glossiness off and it helps because <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have problems but I surely have problems 
with my tacky loose sticking to glossy surfaces. Um, I mean, but that's just the same, I'm sure, with any glue. So that's what I would do is just give it a good old little swish with the with the sander there. So I'm just gonna glue along like these dots. I'm not entirely sure what that was. That first little bit of glue that came out was like black. What the heck? There must have been something caught in my glue lid. That's very weird, guys. Never seen that before. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, I'm sure. And then I just give this part just a quick little you don't need a lot. I don't want it. I, I like it to be a little fluid, you know. And part of this is going to be hanging off as well. So just know that whatever glue you put on there that doesn't quite get on there, you're going to need to wipe off a bit. Yeah. Let me wipe this off. But it will make it a little more sturdy now. Where is my okay so there we go um, I like the bits hanging off doesn't bother me let's go to the next which is just going to be putting some down And I'm just laying down like I'm not thinking about it, not worried about it. This is just a little die cut thing, but I love it. Should just put some glue on it real quick before I put it down, but whatever. Excellent. And I'm going to put this on after it's all dried, but I'm probably going to adhere it to this guy here. Um, I thought about putting a button down, but you know, I think, I think I don't need to do that. <clears throat> Wait till you see what we have in store next. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Yes, this is so cute. This is a little altered playing card. Um, and now, but certainly not least, uh, we are going to glue. Let me see if I can find one. So that's too big. Do we have any other set? Well, that's definitely too big. It's too big. That's really cute paper. <laughs> this is too small. No, it's perfect. Okay, so here's my idea. That's good that I found these because maybe one of these would be perfect. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. I don't want to cover up the words though. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. These are from Kelly Snow's Etsy shop, and she's got them in tons of colors now. They're super, super cute, and you get a bunch of them in, in your bag. So, uh, Kelly Snow's Etsy shop. These little flowers, look at them. They're so tiny, and they're so cute. And they go perfectly. Look at it. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so cute. Get into your art flow. This 
So, do you think that's too much? A little charm on there? I don't, but wait till you see what we're doing next. Not with this one. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know what I'm looking for. I don't know why I keep struggling so much. Um, but I wanted to find something. I think we're just going to go with another card if I could ever find them. So, Queen of Hearts is going to go on the back here. But first, let's see, let's do the blue. I bet you know where I'm going with this. <gasps> Boom. And now, I will be able to put this into the journal on the side of a page. Ha! Ah, I love it. I love it. So, I used the smaller side to put on the inside. Okay. I'm just making sure that I get my edges really good and I'm not going to worry about goopies that's going to come out the side. We'll figure that out. We will clean it up. I am not worried about it. And I don't know if you know this, but glue tends to stick to things better when it's glue sticking to glue and not just glue sticking to something else. So I'm going to go around the edge on this one and then a little bit here in the center. And I know it may seem like a waste of glue, but I just like to make sure that it is down. And this is probably the cutest little altered playing card or altered paper clip I've ever made. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Sorry, I'm sitting here, like, putting the thing together on all the edges and getting some glue seepage. Now, um, you just have to find, yeah, let's just do it this way. So, this is what I do. I put the clips on the very edge next to that. And that just, it's going to make sure that that, you know, really glues down nicely right there. And if you feel like you have any other trouble spots here, um, that looks good to me though. It doesn't look like any of the other part of the card is coming up really. So just go through it and make sure that all the uh, the bits are down. And if there's not, if you have a problem area, put some more clips on it. But there we go. So this is our first, and it's an altered paper clip, but it's also an altered playing card paper clip. So, and now I can just put this at the edge. Um, and once this is dry, you know, I should have just dressed it first. I didn't even think about it. I mean, there's always like one thing you miss. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that is super cute. Once I take the clips off, what do you think? You'll have to tell me down in the comments. So let's just do two more really quick. And I'm going to make one of these into a little bag and the other one's going to be a journaling card. So yeah, so let's get on it. So we got this pretty lady right here and I kind of wanted to give her a, a little cute outfit here. I'm always trying to figure out where the lace goes. Um, you know, cute little, cute little outfit or something here. I mean, that's my thinking is that it's an outfit, but then maybe with like a little bow or something. I don't know. Can always just <laughs> I 
Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just silly, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me cut a little bit of this. Yeah, I like that. And then again, I'm going to be putting a little glue there. So I'm just going to make sure that the glue stays on. Am I in frame? Yeah. Just got to make sure. Excellent. And again, I should have just trust I didn't think of it. Come on now. So you know, those parts that I was saying that, you know, I like to let come up, right? The parts of the napkin. Do you see here in this corner, it's got like the edge where the napkin is, but then the distressing, like it looks differently, right? I really enjoy that a lot, actually. Um, and so um, that's why I tend to do that. And once this dries, I mean, I really could have shown you on this one, but I covered that whole area up, but the area where that part came up oh man that i'm sure would look amazing i don't want to test it because i don't want to mess with the glue and my dauber like i'd have to buy a new one i don't feel like doing that so <laughs> <clears throat> anyway sorry if i'm rambly like i tend to get weird i've got like i said i got a migraine and so like i'm <sighs> All kinds of crazy but yeah I really enjoy the distressed um, the look it just it really does it for me and then you know when I said that I don't mind the wrinkles if I just do a light you know one of these um, it accentuates the wrinkles let me see if it focuses there you go do you see how the vintage photo on the wrinkle like it just accentuates it I don't know if you can if it comes up on camera well but I really, really enjoy the wrinkled texture. So, yeah. Anyway. This looks like a little flow away scarf, right? And then I have a little bit of this lace from the last uh, one that we just did. So I'm going to put that on there, and then I'm going to put this on there, and it's just layering, just little silly layers. I'm going to put some of this down, but then the rest of it I'm just going to leave flowy. Okay. And, um, yeah. I actually really like that. Um, I had toyed with the idea of using this, but over here on this side, actually really like that. I think I will do that actually. Um, and again, this is just the lattice um, die cut. Uh, I cut some pieces off of it. Here we go cleaned off my tip because it looked disgusting um but yeah i've got a bunch of these i've got it in like a dark black and i use that one as a stencil and then i have white which i've used a lot of that already and then i have this like dark red uh it's a little metallic-y it's like a wine red burgundy you know really like it So 
so again, and, and, and I've said this before, but I have two teenage boys and they're, you know, it's, it's Sunday and so they're home and they're loud and I'm sorry if you hear them in the background from time to time, but they're, they're good boys and they, they try to stay quiet. But you know, when you're playing games and you just get into it, you gotta start yelling, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> anyway. All right, and the last thing that I wanted to do on this, and I don't know if I will, but I really wanted to stick this butterfly here. I really just, I like the look of it. It looks like she's kind of hatching from the butterfly. That doesn't make any sense. I actually really like that. But I'm going to get some melting foam tape because... This is a Tim Holtz butterfly, you know, and it doesn't have any attaching, but it's got like a, oh, I wasn't even in camera, sorry, uh, but it's got like this dip. I don't know if you can see that. And so it's really awkward. I, besides using like, um, sorry about that. So my phone got so angry <laughs> and just went, turned off. So anyway, we're back and I put mounting tape on the back of that butterfly and I'm so sorry I didn't even realize I had gone off until it already did so I put mounting tape on the back of the butterfly and you can see it in there uh, but he fits on there perfect and I turned this one into an altered paper clip I decided I didn't uh, really want a journaling card because I'm going to be making plenty of those anyway. I don't need an extra one. So I like the idea of the altered paper clip and I think this is going to be a nice one. So it's for the top of a page. So let me know what you think of that one. She's got her little dress here and her little scarf and you know, I really like it. It's so cute. And we got this little texture back here, you know. So here we go. And uh, this one I really do want to turn into a bag, though. I think it's the coolest idea. Yeah. So, but with this one, this is a pretty one. So, I have a couple of plans for this one. This one's going to be super blingy. And another bulb pin, and I got that from Kelly Snow's Etsy shop. Bygones Variety Shop, links down there in the description box. Um, but what I want to do is I think I'm going to do a hole, but I don't want to do a hole punch. I don't want that big of a hole. Do I have my other little thing here? doesn't look like it. I have a little tiny hole punch. Um, it's got two holes. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to get my little booklet that I do all my hole punching on. And I'm thinking right, hmm, right at the top of the A. So I put it in there and give it a good little swirl. right okay and then I'm going to kind of cut and it's not really it's just kind of trimming just uh, just just slightly maybe even take my sander and go over that yeah and that way the holes just a little more nice in the back so we are going to be putting this. This is a Tim Holtz charm. There we go. Now you can see. And it is blingy. We are going to be using. Oops. Let me put this in like this first because otherwise. Hmm. Do I want it like that or do I want it like this? Yeah. 
You never know how these things are going to apply. So anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's not coming out how I wanted. I don't know. That's fine, I suppose. I suppose it just doesn't matter. It's going to go how it wants to go, huh? Hmm. What to shame. Maybe I could use a jump ring. So I think the jump ring idea was a good idea. I really do love bulb pins, though. Um, and then I think I'm going to make this... Yeah, make sure that it's nice and closed. And then, I don't know if you saw, but I may have made some of this paper come up a little. So I just put a ton of glue there and... Then I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I love that. It's totally worth it. So remember I said this is going to be fancy. Um, I have some of this cute stuff. We are going to take this. And we are going to put... Uh, this on top of here because uh, cute right yeah super super cute maybe Cut a line off of there and just stick that down under. And then just down under. And then just gives it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of detail, a little bit of texture. I always want to have a bunch of everything, right? A little bit of texture, a little bit of detail, a little bit of everything. Just makes it better. And once again, we're going to use the scrap from the last card, like we did on the second card. Yeah, we're just going to kind of get in here with it. So, uh, just super quick little smush uh, for the tool. Then we'll do another little smush for the sky. And then, let's see, I like to put it just right here in the center of these flowers. Smush, smush. Once again, and oh my gosh, I didn't freaking distress all again this is the second time all right now this next piece that i'm putting on here i know it's probably a little too fancy and i don't care i've been holding on to this thing for so long looking for the perfect project to do it to use it and i'm putting all of my favorite things in this journal because it's a journal for somebody that i really really like have come to 
man, I love this girl. She's amazing. She's like my best friend. And I am making, we're doing a swap and I'm making her journal and these things are going in them. Anyway, I love this piece and I'm, it's like a little chandelier for the mermaid. So, and I think I might even let it hang off a little bit at the top there. So yeah, this boy, bad boy is going right in here and I love it. I love it so much. I've been waiting to use this. I've had it for so long. I mean, guys, I've had it for so long because I didn't want to use it. You know, you guys get your things in your stash and you're like, I, well, that was a mistake because I'll probably never use it. Well, that's, that's this, but here we go. It's down. Guys, I've used it. I used a piece of my stash that I swore I would never use because I love it so much. So, here is this super glitzy altered playing card. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, so let's go back to this first guy here. Taking the clips off. Put them back over here where my clips go before I forget. And then I end up losing my clips, which I do that a lot. <coughs> So, we have this first one. We got a bow pin from Kelly Sons that she shop and these cute little flowers also. So, look down in the description box. Go there. Check it out. Anyway, got this cute stuff. Okay. I am going to take my black soot and do my best to distress. Do my best to distress. Yeah. You really just want to get the whites on the edges because you don't want to see that, right? Excellent. Excellent. All right. So there we go. We got the first one. There it is. This is the get into your art flow. Altered paper clip that can go onto the side of a piece of paper. The second one we have is the um trying to put those clips back on is the lady right with her her scarf blown in the breeze and this is a altered paper clip as well and can go on the top I had to put these under something to let them just kind of flatten out I'm gonna go around it really quick just make sure we got everything. Might even do it on the other side as well. Give it a little bit of a vintageify. Okay. And then we got our third and final gorgeous little bit here. Oh yes. So I'm going to use my tumbled glass distress ink. It just seems right since she's a mermaid that um, she gets the blue treatment. It's not really coming out there though. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the blue. Man, that is a gorgeous one. I'm really loving this. Maybe we'll just do a... God, yeah, look, it's not even... Coming out on the flowers. Oh, a little bit now. A little bit. Not a lot, though. But that's okay. I like it. Oh, 
Okay. So, there's all that. And here's this last one, okay, so the mermaid one, and I really love how that came out, so. So there we go. We've got these, and uh, I do want to go ahead, and now that the back is done, we're going to uh, put this journaling, or this sack on there. And this is from Kelly Snow's Etsy shop. As well um, she's got a variety of sizes and types I think that I'm going to cut this side here at a little bit of an angle yeah all the better to stick it on with okay Putting all my crap away. Yay! So anyway, back here we're going to have a cute little glassine bag now. So we can stick some treasure in it and then stick this in a pocket for my matey. Hmm. You ever hate when the glassine bags do this, you know? Excellent. And I'm going to take... No, nope, I guess I'm not. I was going to, but I can't fit in there. I cannot fit. Anyway, whatever. It's a glassy bag and it works. So, now you can stick some cute stuff in there. Oh my gosh, I am just a hot mess today. So I'm going to stick uh, some goodies in there if I can. We got a heart, a wooden heart, and this piece of paper that I love so much. You just give her some little extras, right? Cute. Cute, cute. So, there's that. Then we have our two altered plate paper clips. Uh, one that tucks in the top, one that tucks in the side. And this just goes into a pocket or whatever. Or I could just paper clip, clip it myself to the top of something, right? All right, so let me know what you think of today's video. Let me know if you want me to come back and do some grungy, vintageified versions of this. Um, maybe not so arty. Um, yeah, and, you know, if you guys ever have any suggestions or, you know, comments, anything that you want a tutorial on, let me know. I'd be happy to. I, I love helping people out and, and putting the tutorials out there. Even if you've seen somebody do something one way, you know, I like to take and put my own spin on things. So, you know, and I'm sure that everybody else does too. So just uh, let me know down in the comments. You got something you want me to, to look at or maybe give a shot at doing a tutorial video on? Let me know. Send me a message or... Um, make sure you check the links down in the description box. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching my video today. I hope that you learned something. I hope you were inspired. And I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So thank you for stopping with me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.